This is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, beloved family, friends, and neighbors, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today's encouragement scriptural reference is taken from Exodus 3, 1 through 22, titled, Here Am I. The book of Exodus records the events leading to a nation's independence. It records God's covenant. It records deliverance from slavery and the life of Moses, who God chose as leader of Israel. From a burning bush in the desert, Moses was called to lead his people to freedom. But there was opposition from the Egyptian leader Pharaoh to free God's people. And because of this refusal, 10 devastating plagues were put in motion by God upon Egypt. It took the 10th plague to change Pharaoh's mind and to let God's people go. Once God's people were free, God's people traveled to the wilderness to worship the Lord their God and God was with them. Meanwhile, Pharaoh changed his mind and with his armies chased the Israelites and caught up with them at the Red Sea. It was there that God demonstrated even the more his awesome power by parting the Red Sea so that his people could pass over safely. Then he closed up the sea, drowning the pursuing Egyptians. Moses and the people continued their journey until they reached Mount Sinai, God's holy mountain, where God established his covenant with them and gave them the Ten Commandments. God had before made a covenant with Abraham. This was now being renewed. God promises to do a new thing. And instructions and guidelines were given to the people to follow and to obey. The instructions were set to govern their lives and ours. God called Moses and made an agreement a covenant with him. For God had seen the affliction of his people in Egypt, and he had heard their cries due to their taskmasters. And he sees and hears our cries. He sees every tear. He feels every pain and anguish. He sees our hearts and he understands and knows the grief and sorrows we face and all that we are going through, especially at this time. And he does not want us to suffer. God said to Moses, Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Exodus 3 and 10. Wherefore, as God had a plan for Moses and the Israelites, he also has a plan for you and I. And even though Moses was guilty of murder, he also had a speech impediment, a stutter, and he thought his speech was not eloquent enough to live at God's command to Pharaoh. But God used him mightily. God also sent his brother Haran alongside him to help, and Moses carried out the works of the Lord. God will always send someone alongside us to help. Bless God. Moses, like us, possessed both weakness, weaknesses and strengths. He was hesitant at first, but God empowered and equipped him. And he will empower and equip us according to his plans and his purpose for our lives. The I am that I am created us and knows our potential. Therefore, even though we have flaws, and we do, we must be obedient and do our best. And God will do the rest. He is all-powerful. 
He has power over evil. He defends and defeats anything that rises or raises, sorry, its head against his children. He delivers his children from bondage. And may we trust, worship and obey him and walk in the way that pleases him and stand on his binding words and his promises. We must walk in peace and uprightness. We must stay in his words daily because we are all chosen and precious to God. Let us be committed to the covenant commands and the great commission and fulfill God's words. Be assured, beloved, children of God, that our Heavenly Father will do what he says he will do. His words will not return to him void. They will accomplish whatsoever he has sent them to do. Our Lord says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour, thy Redeemer, thy Deliverer, thy I am that I am. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43, 2 fruit free. Wherefore, beloved, let us commit ourselves to instruction, attune our ears to hear, being in one accord. As Moses was called by God, and he answered, Here am I. God also called Samuel, and Samuel answered, Here am I. Samuel 3 and 4. May we, when he calls us, answer, Here am I. And like Samuel, answer and say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The time has come. God is doing a new thing. He's turning things around for our good. He's going to use us mightily. We have been impregnated with the Holy Spirit. We are about to give birth. It is time to start pushing. Push, beloveds, and bring forth what God has placed in you and I. Go tell your family. Go tell your friends and your neighbors too. Tell them, get ready. Get ready. I'm about to give birth. I'm about to give birth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us therefore rejoice. For we are no longer captives. No longer bound. We have been set free. Free to walk in the newness of life because of what Christ has done. Set free through his blood. Set free because our sins have been forgiven. Set free because of the richness of his grace, of his mercy and his peace. We are free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, O Lord our God. We praise you, Heavenly Father, and we bless your holy name. The I am that I am. The one who said, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place thou standest is holy ground. May the place where we are right now, in the name of Jesus, be declared holy, for thou, O Lord our God, are holy. O Adonai, by your power, you have saved us, you have rescued us, you have delivered us out of bondage, and you have set the captives free. 
You are in our midst right now, eternal Father, and we worship you. We look to you and we will not be overwhelmed. For in you we have redemption, O Lord, through the blood of Jesus. And we have the forgiveness of our trespasses according to your grace that you pour out on us daily. You have seen our reflections and you have heard our cries and you have delivered us. You have decreed that now is the time for us to occupy our own land and become your peculiar people. Have thine way, O Lord, and let thy will be done in and through our lives. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. I am Minister G. Knight. One voice, one vision.